Welcome back guys, this is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee and today we're going to be doing a little walk around on this 1983 Mustang. It's got a 5.0 under the hood, runs and drives great, just got back from the test drive. Uh, definitely check that out. The last 30 seconds of this video you can pull up the test drive or just type in 1983 Mustang Maple Motors in the YouTube search bar. You can do that with any of our cars, you can check out all of our inventory at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping information. This car's pretty clean on the inside and out. Dual exhaust out the back. Some Pioneer speakers here. Open the trunk, jam out. Headliner's a little bit rough in there. We're gonna check that out here in just a second. Weather stripping looks good around the trunk lid. Looks like a little bit of rust popping up here on the edge of the trunk. Zoom in on that, let y'all see that. I'm glad I caught it at the last second. A little bit around the hinges too. Everything else looking pretty good. Go ahead and shut this down. Now those are strong hydraulics there. Okay, we got it shut. Shuts down nice and easy. Got the louvers on your back window. T-tops. Checking out the front end. Car is very straight, nice and clean. The grill's in good shape. We'll be looking for any kind of chips, scratches, rust, paint flaws, bondo, anything that I see, I will let you know in this video. Guys, don't forget, if you're uh, new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It'll notify you anytime I post a car. Uh, that way you get the head of the game here. You'll be first to pick one of these up. Imperfection right here. A little weather stripping around the windows, dry crack. Doesn't look bad through here. It's a little dry. Checking everything out nice and close. The tires are in great shape on this car. Plenty of tread left. Few little blemishes on the bumper that should buff out actually i just wiped it off it's just little spots from the test drive i guess paints a little thin on top of the wing Checking the bottoms of the doors. Pretty solid car all the way around. Just that little lip in the trunk. That's all I've seen with the rust on it and the paint chip wise. I mean, I'm not really seeing any. Had some thin back there on the wing. But we'll check up under this door. Power windows on this car. Door panel's in great shape. Looks like it could be a little weak down in there. You see them bubbles popping up. 
bottom of the door. It's got a spot right there. Carpet's not too bad in this thing, probably original. The seat's got that one little spot in it where they're getting in and out. A little wear down here in the bottom. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? We're gonna look around the car a little bit. Headliner sagging in the back. T-tops are in great condition. Show you the miles on the dash there. Go ahead and start it up. Starts up nice and easy. I had the radio working earlier. Maybe I cut it off somehow. Radio was working. I'm not sure there. Uh, blower motor does work on this one. Just got it to kick on. Couldn't get the AC to kick on though. Horn? You push it in right here. How weird is that? Wipers, they do work. RPM's coming up on the dash. Um, I don't really trust the temp gauge. It's not coming up. We went on a whole test drive. It wasn't working. The oil pressure gauge goes all the way to the high mark, down to the low mark, to the high mark, the low mark. So I don't trust it either. The gas gauge, same thing. Probably gonna need some gauge work, but the speedometer does come up. It is working along with the tack. Windows are pretty fast on both sides. Got a good sound to it. I just realized that buzzer was going on this whole time. I'm sure that was annoying. Sorry about that. Clean up under the hood. We're gonna go ahead and set the hood down. Give me just a second. I gotta go push the handle in that I pulled out in here to shut the hood. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. See how it stuck out? That'll allow the hood to shut, right? Some paint chips right here that I couldn't see when the hood was up. Same on this side. All right, guys, we're gonna start up front, go around to the driver's side, the rear, and the passenger, and I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots. I do have close to 100 detailed photos on maplemotors.com, so you can check that out. Hopefully these videos and all the pictures gives you enough information on this car. Uh, we try to cover everything. All right, let's go up under the front.
Hi right, guys, I do appreciate you watching. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I try to post videos every single day. MapleMotors.com offers financing, shipping information, 100 detailed pictures, and all of our inventory. So check that out. We update that once a week. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. And you all have a good one. Later, guys.